Will plugins continue to work with the new release? Again, great question. Really, plugins certainly are supported in the new release, but it depends what you're doing in your plugin. It's a difficult question to ask. If you're hard coded into inodes the way they used to be, probably not. You uh, things have changed from you inode. The inodes used to be numbers and they were longs, now they're a string because we have the UUID. So for you developers, something to be aware of. But it depends. If you just have a velocity macro that's integrating in the Google Maps or something like that, you know, probably, yeah, I don't think you're going to see any problems there. It depends what you're doing. How tightly are you integrating into our APIs uh, how, and to our other, other core pieces? In some respect, if you're calling something that that requires it something to work a little different at this point. Yes, 1.9 is a huge, huge, huge uh, release in that it's great, very cool functionality, lots of great stuff, but definitely should be considered a major release and a major upgrade. Uh, someone asked regarding role cascading, if you give someone publishing permission on some subfolder, is it smart enough to know they will need to view permissions on the parents to get to the folder, yes. Uh, where as you're in the hierarchy, that that definitely is true. I mean, if you have permissions on a folder on that object, you do have it. But as far as in the hierarchy and browsing down, that would be true. Can structures be shared over multiple hosts? Was asked, and the answer to that is yes. Can you tell us uh, more about changes for the front end, uh, designer and writer, the website content structure tabs? Uh, again, there's a lot of a lot of UI changes primarily there. The primary thing with content would be the way that it's pulled and so forth. It's a bit more performant. You're going to see a lot of aesthetic changes and editing of content. That whole page is just going to look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. The structure manager is a lot nicer, a lot cleaner as well. Uh, but primarily that and what we've talked about is, the, I think, primarily the changes that you're going to see there. Someone else asked, with global unique IDs for exporting and importing, could you potentially import templates from your local machine? Absolutely. Uh, that's what we're talking about. I mean, essentially, all of these objects now become UUIDs. That definitely is possible. We don't have the right-click UI for that right now, but we definitely have the, the, the plumbing in our data model for that now. That is definitely possible and would be possible in 1.9 to write a plugin to do that. Can you talk more about the process by which exports for sites are done? Uh, that hasn't changed too much. Uh, obviously, we're doing some cleanup on that. But as far as uh, I'm not sure if you mean upgrading your site, which basically is you're going to want to copy your DB, you're going to copy your whole site over, and then or you copy your DB, you're going to copy all your assets into your new your new download, cook hook the new guy up to your copy of your DB right <laughs> because it's going to alter your db when you start but when it starts it'll it's going to try to migrate your data it's going to migrate your table structures and all that stuff so you definitely want to do all that stuff in a copy but more the idea of upgrading .cms is you download the new guy you copy your assets meaning your css files you know the binary assets in the file system over you hook it to a copy of your db and you start it and run how are assets exported imported uh, again, very, very similar uh, as far as export, as far as assets, meaning file assets. Sometimes web devs is in a is an easy way to copy things over and get them out, but the upgrade again, it would be exactly as I had just described. When will copy host and permissioning changes be ready to use in live site? Obviously, until we release, we don't recommend that you use uh, 1.9 on in 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 production. Uh, documentation for 1.9, we will be documenting our site. Our, on the documentation site, you'll start to see stuff coming up. And yes, we will be upgrading our documentation site to handle this. Binary content. Someone asked about binary content. Great question. We do have binary content in 1.9. That means uh, on a structure, you can actually add binary files. Not, you used to just be able to kind of link to a file asset, but now you can actually attach a, a file directly to a piece of content. It, it's a piece of that content if you would. This provides the ability to create more of a document management type solution within the .cms and a, a whole kinds of things. I mean, think of, I mean, building YouTube type from a video standpoint. Uh, I mean, anything in that respect. For those familiar with the Fedora project, not Fedora meaning Red Hat, but the, the more 
the other fedora and the document management I idea of it. Uh, something more in that respect you can build or DSpace. You can start building those types of more stuff in with binary content moving in that direction. Uh, can the new CMS admin UI be skinned? It, it, it could. There's some things, obviously, that you could change. I mean, you have to get in and change our CSS and things of that nature. Uh, but a lot of the stuff's been moved. It's a lot more compliant and it's a lot more modern and that things are very controllable from the CSS at this point. It says, when will you view a host? Will you now see only content for that host? Uh, great question. Actually, content now lives on the host. <laughs> so it used to be where you, again, you couldn't do that. That's another thing you could do in 1.9. You can now take content and make it live specifically on a host or under a folder, per se. Uh, is, how's the upgrade going to go? Again, uh, from 1.7 to 1.9, if you're upgrading from 1.7a, we do support it uh, in that we provide a lot of, we provide upgrade scripts. We certainly do local testing of this stuff. We have scripts that migrate your data, that migrate all your whole database. It does all it does all of the stuff. The reality is, though, depending on what you've done, if you've got a lot of plugins, a lot of extra stuff, it really depends on who you are and how well that's going to work. My caution is, my answer is yes, we support everything that we know about. But my caution is, it's a major upgrade. It needs to be treated as such. It needs to be thought of as, as such. And it definitely needs to be upgraded separately, not in place. Don't just upgrade your live guide to this thinking it'll all be okay. You should never do that anyway. You always test it out. We would definitely, that definitely is our prescribed way of recommending as is all software. And, right, you just don't go update the live environment without testing. But definitely should be tested well. And uh, there's a lot of changes in that respect. Uh, someone asked if the structures are still limited to the 25 field. They currently are. You, you, I do think uh, turning the corner around 1.9 and the 2.0 and so forth, you are, are going to start seeing those types of improvements made. Can we link to the content, which is under a folder, which the page will open? And yes, again, you can. the content will be under there. There is a way that you can query the content based on where it lives and, and so forth. So absolutely you could. You can get the children of a folder and, and find content and things of that nature underneath that as you'd be able to even from CMIS and, and so forth. Well, that it, that will conclude those, those. Actually, we got through all the questions. Those were great questions, guys. I, I hope that the demo today was useful for you guys. I, I, I'd encourage you, feel free to, to email the list, contact our our, our sales guys, if you're interested in, in anything, as for those that are interested in, you know, even questions about how this will work with enterprise and things of that nature, uh, feel free to contact us. And for those that are adventurous, I certainly would encourage you to be adventurous. And uh, <laughs> but I certainly would encourage you to download, uh, as will be when we put out the kind of alpha early beta preview release. And enjoy it. Let it. Let us know what you think. We're certainly uh, interested in your thoughts, your comments, and, uh, and as we continue to grow as a community and as a product. And I want to thank you guys for attending today.